The V-Scan ultrasound device can be used during the evaluation of the urinary bladder. A moderately filled bladder is necessary for optimal imaging. Patients should be instructed to hold their urine prior to the exam. The patient should lie supine on the examination table. Select the abdominal preset on the V-Scan device. The bladder should be scanned in the transverse and longitudinal views. The transverse, antero-posterior, and longitudinal measurements of the bladder can be used to calculate the volume of urine. To obtain a transverse view of the bladder, position the probe so that the probe marker is pointing toward the patient's right. The urinary bladder is a pelvic organ, so the transducer must be positioned just superior to the pubic symphysis and aimed into the pelvic cavity. In the transverse view, scan the bladder from the proximal to distal end. Obtain a mid-transverse image where the width of the bladder appears to be at a maximum. Adjust the gain and depth to obtain a diagnostic image. Measure and document the transverse dimension. Activate color flow mode to visualize the ureteric jets where urine is entering the bladder through the ureterovesical junctions. The jet frequency is variable but should be symmetric. Unilateral absence of a jet can be a sign of high grade ureteric obstruction on the affected side. However, the presence of symmetric jet frequency does not exclude the possibility of low-grade ureteric obstruction. To obtain a longitudinal view of the bladder, position the probe so that the probe marker is pointing toward the patient's head. In the longitudinal view, scan the bladder from the left to the right. Obtain a mid-longitudinal image where the height and antero-posterior dimensions of the bladder appear to be at a maximum. Measure and document the longitudinal and antero-posterior dimensions. The volume of urine can be calculated by multiplying the three dimensions of the urinary bladder with a correction factor of 0.52.